In this full tutorial, I will show you how to recover your hacker Gmail or Google account. To recover your Google account, you can use any Google application. But in this video, I will show you how to recover your Gmail address just using your default web browser. If you want to know how to recover using this Google application, I will put those links in the description. This time we are going to recover it just using our browser. So open your default web browser. It doesn't want to use the same browser that I'm using right now. Just use any browser that's on your mobile. After that, go to search bar, then type and search how to recover your Google account or Gmail. After that, you have to select the very first search result. How to recover your Google account or Gmail. Then you can get help from your help desk but in this video, I will show you another method. This is easier method than help center. So scroll down and select recover your Google account or Gmail under forgot to your password. After that, you will get this window. Here they ask to enter your email or phone number. If you don't remember your email address, you can select forgot email. Then they will help you to identify your account by entering your first name and last name. If you already sent some email to your friend, you can ask help from your friend. Somehow, enter your email address here, then tap the next button. After they ask to enter your password, since we don't remember our password, tap try another way. Now they start to show us all possible recovery methods one after another. So if you have access to any of these recovery method, just select that method, then get a verification code. After that, they will allow you to reset your password. If you don't have access to any of these recovery method, like you see in the video, here I try to explain the worst case scenario. If you can't access any of these, tap try another way in the bottom left corner. Now they will provide another major recovery method. If you have already added some recovery phone number like this, they will show you a phone number here. You can see the last two numbers of your phone number. This is kind of easy one. If you already lost your SIM card, you can request a new SIM card from your telecommunication partner. After that, you can easily reset your Google password. But unfortunately, some of you can't access your mobile number or the hacker has changed your every recovery method, even the mobile number. So in that worst case scenario, you have to again tap Try another way in the bottom left corner. Then they will provide all your recovery email address and alternative email address. This is my current email address which I have no access. Then this is my recovery email address. If you have access to your recovery email address, you can select that one. As well as if you have added an alternative email address, it will list out here. So if you have access, Select that email address and get a verification code. Using that verification code, you can reset your Google account password. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to any of these recovery email address, you have to select the last option, try another way to sign in. So tap the last option, then you will get this error window. Here it says, couldn't sign you in. The major two reason they ask you to answer many questions as you can. That mean they ask you to at least one verification or recovery method. Or they ask you a device that you use to sign into your Google account before. So if you can use at least one recovery method or if you can use a device, it can be notebook, PC, laptop, mobile or whatever the device that you use to sign into a Google account before. If you use this kind of device, they will allow you to log back into your account. But at least, if you have access to one recovery method, you can get a verification code, then you can easily reset your password. So you can skip the next chapter, you can jump into the last chapter, which I show you how to reset your Gmail password. But if you got this error again and again, this is how to fix it. So go to your browser home tab, then swipe down to the notification bar, then you will see this notification panel here, you have to switch between networks. If you are using your Wi-Fi network, you can switch to your mobile network. If you are using mobile network, you can switch to familiar Wi-Fi network. Then you have to have turn on location. This is not enough. You have to close your browser. Then you have to go to your browser permission. Take a long press on your browser, then go to app info. After that, you will get this window. 
here you have to go to permission if you want you can go to the long way go to settings then go to app manager after that you have to select your browser then you will get this permission menu after opening permission you have to allow all these permission here the default setting you can see there is no permission allow now i'm going to allow all these permission especially you have to turn on contacts your internal storage as well as your location these three things are critical if you want you can turn on notification too like this i will allow this permission one by one then i will tap contact i will tap allow again i will go to my internal storage then i will tap always allow all then if you want you can allow all the settings after allowing those permission go back to your browser then you have to reopen your default web browser after opening like earlier go to search bar earlier we type and search how to recover your google account or gmail this time i invite to search gmail recovery earlier we select the first one this time select the second one account support like this select the second one then you will get this different interface here like earlier enter your email address that you want to recover after entering tap the next button then here ask to enter your password since we don't know our password you have to tap forgot your password sometimes they ask to enter any last password if you got that type of option you have to enter any last password that you used to log into your facebook account before here one after another they will show all possible recovery method if you have access to any of above mentioned recovery method you can select that then you can get a verification code and reset your password but unfortunately like me in worst case scenario you can't access any recovery method so you have to select try a different question option at the bottom here you can see all your recovery email address since you don't have access to any of these tap try another way to sign in if you couldn't access any of their recovery method if you got this error again all you have to do swipe up at the bottom select help now you have to tap the hamburger menu in the top left corner then select submit feedback at the bottom option after that you have to select the first one in the pop up window then tap the next button after that you have to enter your problem here i will enter my problem like this here it is better if you can customize this message rather than send in the same message if you send the same message google ai blocks your feedback after that it is better if you can attach a screenshot of your problem now scroll down if you want you can check this option finally you have to submit this form to google so tap the send button at the bottom after submitting you will get this one report sent thank you now we have to go back to your new email address since i provided gmail one i will open my gmail application like this then you can see there is a new email from google if you open that email you can see they will send a recovery link to your account within next 6 hours here you should not cancel this request this is the email address that they send you a recovery link after a little bit time you will receive another email if you open that email you can see there is a password reset link so use this link to sign back in so tap get start button then you will be redirected to your default web browser here they say welcome back now they allow you to update or create new password so you have to tap update password button from here you can create a new strong password here don't enter any last password create a new strong password which no one can guess it should include some numbers characters and special cases after entering your password twice you have to tap the save password button in the bottom right corner after that you will be redirected to this security checkup window here i just skip this part if you want to learn more about how to increase the security level of your google or gmail account i will upload another tutorial so tap continue right now then you can log back into a hacked google or gmail account this is just one way to recover your account there are alternative ways if you want to learn other methods you can find all the video links in the description or you can click this end skin video and come on over that's it for today's tutorial see you in the next one later